Yeah, so what else can I talk about? I've got six more of these rest periods to fill. I don't want to go too crazy because I only have around a 45 second window to talk between each one. I saw on the news, well I don't watch the news, fake news, uh, it's too biased. I mean, I, I, was, I, I know what I'm going to say on the next one. Oh wait, hold, my, hold that thought, we'll come back to the news in a minute, okay? Let's just get this first. say is that I saw on the news that a Christian priest, or I guess he's a priest, I'm not sure, I think he's an Orthodox priest, was stabbed in Sydney, Australia. What's his name? Mary, Mary Emanuel, I believe. How sad. That man's one of our brothers, Garth. Okay, if you're, if you're a man watching this and you're a Christian, he's one of our brothers and, and he's just been stabbed in the street or in his, in his church, which is even worse. Which is even worse and, and I just don't understand how, how anybody can condone that. I, I just, I can't believe it. I think he's a great man. Sometimes I see him on my YouTube channel as I'm scrolling down the, the home page. Very special guy. I hope you get pulled through because I... Right, that's five. All I can say is they should just be the guy who stabbed them. They're very fortunate they weren't doing that in my church. I, I love, I love Jesus and I, I, if someone slaps you on your left cheek, turn the right to them also. I don't believe in an eye for an eye because then that leaves the whole world blind. That being said, I do believe that We need more young men in church. We need more young men in church and more young women in church. We need more young people in church. I saw some of the people trying to run up and stop him. They had grey hair, they were in the 90s. Come on guys, I know there's a big, a large population of Christian young people out there. Why are we not in church? The guy who stopped him, the kid who stopped him was 16 years old. And I bet he went to the mosque every day. I just, I just think there are more young people there. Perhaps he could have been stopped before he reached Mary Emmanuel. <sighs> because at the end of the day, he was stabbed because he was helpless and defenseless in that situation. The only help he had was from God. And, and, and God willing, he pulls through. Now I'm saying that if I was there, I'm not saying I would have, I would have hurt the terrorist who stabbed him. I'm not saying I would, have, I would have physically assaulted him or anything like that. But I'm saying I would have stopped him. And I'm saying that we need more young people there. I saw many young people afterwards turning up to the protests, turning up to demonstrations. Those protests and demonstrations, you guys jumping on the cars, you're not Christians. I mean, I mean, maybe you call yourself Christians. I'm not here to judge you and say, yes, you're a Christian, no, you're not a Christian. But that's not Christian behavior. The Christian behavior would have been being in that church to begin with and stopping that attack from taking place. That would have been Christian behavior. And so it's almighty well if you jump on a, a car and say it's in the name of Mary Emmanuel. But I can bet you he didn't want you to do that. I can bet you he'd much rather you have come to his congregation and listened to him preach. I 
And all I can say, boys, is if you're, I don't think anyone in Australia watches anything I upload. If you're one of the people who were protesting, or if, yeah, if you're one of the people that were protesting in Sydney, saying, oh, I watch this guy on YouTube, this guy motivates me, he's, he, he aligns me more with my faith. Go to his church. Get involved in his community. If, if you want to show your love to him, don't show your love by throwing bricks at his church. I saw some people try to do that to get inside. Do you think he's going to appreciate that? The house of God that you're desecrating? No. It would be far more prudent of you to go to his congregation and offer your support, raise money for his treatment. Don't just, I don't know if Australia has free healthcare, so I don't know if, I don't know if, it's, if he needs it. But do something to support him. Don't just cause destruction. That's the opposite of what Christianity stands for. So, if you're sitting there and you're thinking, man, I'm gonna go, I wanna go smash cars to, to protest for, against Islam, I guess it's the only reason you were doing it, if you were out there protesting, protesting against Islam. First of all, a terrorist, I can't say he was representing the true Islam, because I've got many Islamic friends, and I can promise you they would never do that. And second of all, I, find, I think you will find that if you're a Christian living true to Christianity, and you're a Muslim living true to Islam, you are going to have far more in common than you will differences. Far more in common. As far as I'm aware, the only difference between Islam and Christianity, as far as I'm aware, is Christians denounce Muhammad. That's the only difference. So aside from that, guys, the same two books are pretty much the same. You know, I mean, they've got a third book, they being Islam, but aside from that, we believe generally the same things. The lessons come from the same place of love. And so I have to say, guys, don't hate your Islamic brothers and sisters. I, I, just, I just will not understand it. I just will never understand it. I mean, I, I understand it, but I, I think it's so stupid. <sighs> I think it's so stupid how you can sit there and you can, you can, I, I watched the videos of the protesters in Sydney, how you can smash the church of the priest who was stabbed, how you can smash the streets in his name, desecrate against the police and, and desecrate the religious buildings, assault people, threaten to attack mosques. Guys, that's not Christianity. If you're doing that in the name of Mary Emmanuel, I, I promise you, you will not want that. He is evidently a man of love and a man of God. Okay? I just I just can't fathom how you can make the link between a man getting stabbed by a terrorist, an Islamic terrorist, and causing destruction in the city. I understand you that you feel the need to draw attention to it, but I can tell you what would draw far more attention than a little protest is if every single one of those protests, there's all 500 of you, turned up to that man's church every Sunday without fail for the next two years and brought all your friends. I guarantee that would make a far more impactful difference in Sydney than at one night of rioting and protesting. I think the whole thing was ludicrous. Whoever organised it, you were a fucking idiot. I was just never understand it. <clears throat> True word of God, guys. Don't just follow your friends in the streets when they're smashing up cars, okay? I know Jesus had a little uh, moment of weakness in the temple when he displayed a sin and, and he was smashing things and, and destroying things in the temple because arguably, in that instance, whilst he was acting with violence, 
he was doing so for a holy cause. And from what I saw on YouTube of, of you guys smashing up the streets of Sydney, I didn't see any holy cause there. I didn't see any of you acting in the word of God. I just saw a bunch of uh, young boys, young, young men who need guidance. And so I'm directing you to go to Mary Emanuel's church every Sunday. And I promise you, that will make more of a difference than what you did last week. I just, I think it's so stupid, to be honest. I'm going to upload what I've just said as a separate clip because I, I, I mean, I was going to do this as a workout video, um, but I'm actually quite angry. Like not not angry, frustrated, frustrated because you guys, you guys being the protesters, you've missed a good opportunity to bring a community together and enhance a community by by just going along and smashing things. You could have enhanced the church. The image of Christianity. If every single one of you, rather than what you did, if you'd have gone to church and every day you've gone out on the street for five minutes a day and spread the word of God, each of you spread the word of God, that would have made a far more impactful difference for Christianity and for Mary Emmanuel. That would be a far better namesake for him, I believe, than, than going through the streets and causing mayhem. It's just my opinion. I'm not political, I don't normally express my opinions on anything, I don't follow politics, I don't care. I think we're all the same when it comes to politicians. But when it comes to, to Christianity, how you guys can just, how you, how you can do that and say it's in the name of Christianity and in the name of, in the name of what? I just don't understand what you're trying to accomplish by doing what you did. Um, but I hope that you listen to me and, and hear what I say. I hope somebody in that, in that protest group hears what I'm saying and that it invokes a reflection in you where you can think, oh, blimey, mate, maybe I shouldn't have gone and smashed up the car. Maybe I should have just gone to church and, and you know, took a kangaroo with me or two. I had a beer on the way back. That would have been a way better response, wouldn't it? Going to church, listening to him, to him the pastor, and, and I just... I pray for you guys, I pray for Sydney, I pray for Mary Emanuel, and I, I hope that he recovers well, and that those of you who did the protests, you think about it. Uh, think about your reasoning behind it, think about why you did it, who told you to do it, what you learned about the protest, what invokes those feelings within you, and then take all of that to church, speak to God about it, and find resolution and peace for yourself. Okay, I'm going to upload this as a separate clip because it's not really part of my regular gym content. So, yeah, I don't want it to, to taint what I'm doing normally. Uh, but I do have opinions, I do have thoughts, and I think that somebody needed to express this side of the argument because what you guys did was just stupid. And this is coming from a fellow Christian. I'm a, I'm a huge believer in Christ. And, I, and I'm just appalled at what you did, to be honest. So... Prayer to Mary Emmanuel, and hopefully he makes a speedy recovery. Uh, and that's all for today. So, yeah, I'll just I'll I'll upload this as a separate clip, and then I'll upload the regular workout. But I'll just cut out we talking from that. So, yeah. See you guys in the next video. Adios.